Howdy gamers, old gamer guy here. Welcome to another Stellaris console edition video. Uh, we're here in our home system. It occurred to me that uh, I might have some of my science leaders misassigned. Um, I've got people, there are scientists who are commanding science ships and then there are scientists in research departments um, there's my fleet returning to get repaired, but here are my scientists, and yeah, see this guy, he's commanding a science ship, but he has, a, his bonus speeds up his research speed, so he would be better doing uh, one of those research department projects. This guy is in engineering research, but he has faster survey speed. Um... So, those guys are misassigned, but I don't think I can reassign them. So, if I wanted to reassign... Yeah, because I've already got a scientist assigned, I can't do that unless I dismiss him. I, I would have to dismiss that guy to... Uh, to uh, assign the position again, which is kind of strange. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just not doing things correctly. I'm not really sure. Um, Construction complete. But I thought I'd go ahead and point that out. Just in, It's something to watch, you know, when you're recruiting scientists. Um, let's see, this guy's construction is complete, really? Construction complete. Hmm, suddenly I've got... Oh yeah, okay, that's why. Special project complete. Situation log updated. After sifting through the debris left by the strange cultist warship we destroyed, our scientists believe they may have divined the source of the ships the Church of Light has been throwing against us. Fragments from a log file mention some kind of abandoned alien shipyard discovered by the cultist ships fleeing aromatherapy. Uh, they have been using the automated shipyard to reinforce their numbers, and now they are even producing new ships from alien templates found within the station's memory banks. This cannot be allowed to continue. That shipyard must be destroyed. Okay, so where's that? Do we know where that is? I guess we don't. Where could it be? I don't see any kind of an indication on the map just yet. Let's see what these alerts are. Time project, construction complete, okay. This construction ship is idle, so I'm gonna have them build a mining station here. Get more mineral minerals in my mineral income. Uh, what was I saying? I was talking about something and I don't <laughs> I don't even remember. Uh, the scientist, yeah. I guess I should go ahead and uh, he has research speed in industry. I don't know what that means because we have physics, society, and engineering, so I don't know. I don't know what industry would fall under. I would guess either society or engineering. Um, yeah, I guess I'd have to look that up. There's, there may be a, an explanation of that somewhere in all these menus, but there are so many damn menus. Oh, what's going on down here? Okay, Verilev Sons. Okay, that's... Oh, man. What is that? A science ship. Okay. I don't want them to build down here, but I guess they might try it. 
Science ships are busy. Construction ships are both busy. So let's get back to the base here. The, the fleet is repairing. I need to build another Corvette, although I don't have enough uh, uh, minerals just yet. Synchronized defenses. Complete. We'll add a defense module to our spaceport. That would be nice. Our fleet is fully repaired now. Now this construction ship is idle. I'm going to go ahead and have, well, crap. Let's see, uh, research station is 60, so I could have them build that. Increase my research speed here. Go ahead and do that. Debris analyzed. Debris analyzed, that's good. System survey complete. Construction complete. Science ship is idle. Research complete. I want them to survey this system we got a bunch of alerts here so let me pause the game and check that out debris analyzed we've analyzed the debris we've got 10 percent progress to nuclear missiles 30 points towards physics 20 points towards engineering so that's good uh, we can dismiss that construction complete we dismiss that technology researched we've got our database uplink data bank uplinks uh, which allows, uh, basically allows a science ship to park itself in orbit and use its data banks to uh, augment the research capabilities of the planet. So when my science ships are done doing their research or doing their surveying and all that, that'll be useful. They're not. They're still. They still have things to do right now. But uh, eventually, that will be useful. Maybe I shouldn't have, have even researched it yet. But I went ahead and did it, just to have it ready. I think it was uh, a quick research that we could make use of. You know, I, it was a low, uh, low time to actually re uh, finish this research. So that's why I did it. Not that it matters. Uh, okay. Now we've got a bunch of expensive research here. Uplink miniaturization. That that would double the effectiveness of that thing that I just unlocked. So I definitely don't need that yet. Automated exploration uh, increases survey speed. I kind of don't. I mean, I'm kind of getting toward the end of my survey speed and my surveying. Uh, I think. So I'm not sure I need that anymore. Cold fusion, that would uh, give us better reactors, which would be good. That would give us more power. That would be nice. And then active counter measures. I don't know if this is something that would go on the starport or if this would go on the ships. I'm not positive. But what it does, point defense uh, basically will shoot down missiles. So it's like a, a missile defense system. And we're kind of, we're, we are 56 of 432 on our way to unlocking that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, even though I maybe should do this. But I haven't upgraded all my existing power plants yet, so I'm going to do this. And unpause. Oh, wait, I've got a, I've got a, another idle construction ship. some research there there's more minerals here but I might as well not take the time to fly all the way over there two minerals there so what do I what am I gonna need first maybe maybe more minerals this one has more minerals available in the system, so I'm going to go ahead and just have them go into orbit over here. Situation log updated. Encounter in Thrad. 
We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Thrad system. These strange objects have been flagged as Lambda aliens until we can learn more about them. We should proceed with caution. Okay. The FFS Yim Filyub has entered the Thrad system and its crew report that a stellar object not unlike the Shrine to the Untold is indeed orbiting the star. Let us investigate. And pause situation log let's investigate the lambda aliens find out what they're all about and uh, unpause I wonder if I should be proposing more diplomatic actions with these various empires let me pause for a second uh, wanted, wanted to check this out okay I'm 67 months away from being able to get another discovery I need more unity so what can I do to increase my unity I think I could build, it will take some minerals, but I think if I build a, a monument, no, that's, yeah, that gives me two unity, and a temple gives two unity. Or do I already have a monument? No, that's a mining network. Okay, so I don't have a monument. So either a temple or a monument. The monument is a monument to the first pioneers to venture into space. That would probably be a good thing to have um, on our home world. That'll take a hundred minerals. And then maybe, maybe I can build a temple also on aroma there or on aroma wait did I look at the wrong system yeah son of a I could put a temple over here we've got we got empty space happening here I'm gonna have to do something about this although I don't think that population yeah he's not it's not quite a full population so that's fine okay so I'm gonna have to do something about all that eventually um, I keep ending these videos on kind of anticlimactic <laughs> moments but I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video here and we will pick it up right here in the next video so thanks for watching